What do you think is going to happen with him with Spotify? Oh, Spotify won't won't remove Rogan. You don't think so? What are They'd the be odds? out of their mind. They, what are the they, odds? They, they dropped from sixty billion dollar valuation to thirty six. That's twenty four billion. You think the board is sitting there? They're diehard Joe Rogan fans, or do you think they're profit margin, top line revenue fans? Oh, I hope that I would rather that they were the latter, the profit okay. margin types, because that's what a corporation should do. And I'd trust them more if they were doing that. I'm with you. But I also yeah. think that if they have any sense, and I know how this is going to turn out, it's, it's turned out in my life like 50 times this way. Yeah. The heat goes on, the pressure's on, you're in the desert, it's unpleasant, you wait it out. You wait it out. You wait it out. If you haven't done anything wrong, you wait it out. You don't apologize. You don't back down. You wait, and things viciously turn in your favor. Now, waiting it out while you're roasting, that's not pleasant. And if the Spotify types have any sense, they think, yeah, well, that's a drop, but, you know, it's part of the death throes of the legacy media. And once all the dust settles, CNN will have half the viewers they have now, and Joe Rogan will have twice the viewers, and we'll be doing just fine. And Rogan, as long as he keeps doing what he's doing, he came out on Instagram. This is so funny. He came out on Instagram to talk about all this a few days ago. And I thought, you nailed it, Joe. He came out and he said, it's a paraphrase, and I'm going to do it a bit comedically. He basically said, well, everyone knows I'm kind of a lunkhead and I have lots to learn. And I probably haven't managed this like perfectly because I do my own scheduling and I just talk to people I'm interested in. And so possibly I could have presented a more balanced view some of the time and I'll try to do better in the future. And so all the le- ma- legacy media said, Joe Rogan apologizes, which is not really the case. Mm-hmm. And then he talked about how much he liked Neil Young. And none of this was for show. And none of this was was He's as sincere PR. as it gets. Absolutely. Yeah. And he what told the story when he was at a Neil Young concert. I mean, Secure he's genuinely body, a fan you know, of security. Was exactly. yeah. great, man. And right. so as long as Rogan keeps doing that, and I, he's been doing it for five years, and he's, it's not like he hasn't faced pressure before, it's clear to me that he's... I just can't see any scenario short of his assassination that ends up in Rogan not having 20 million viewers an episode in a year. And so as long as he's careful, like he is, I don't think Rogan can be canceled. So even if Spotify dumps him, it's like, who's dumping who here? Rogan, he's on Spotify. It's not necessarily. Spotify might be on Rogan. It's not so clear. <laughs> and so what, what's going to happen? They kick him off? Well, he'll just have another platform like tomorrow. Immediately. Yeah, and he'll have yeah. all the money Spotify sure. gave him, which was actually quite no, he'll a lot have of money. More. He'll have yeah, way more. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, he'll like, have way more. Did you, hear, did you see what Pat had to say about this topic yesterday? I don't know. I, I think Rogan is a billion-dollar guy. I think uh, Elon needs to sign a 20-year, $50 million year contract with Rogan and start a company, like a social media company. Choose which route you want to go, direct competitor to YouTube, to Google, to... It's not like Elon hasn't done it. He didn't create a company that was revolutionary. He went against cars. Cars have been around for a while. Well, he didn't and invent rockets. cars. Yeah, but what I'm saying is cars and rockets have been around. So it's not like he went and invented the rocket or invented a car. You don't need to invent something. Just go direct against YouTube. Go direct against Spotify. Go And Elon and Rogan could pull it off with the help of Peter Thiel, It'll yeah. work itself out and they'll recruit the right people. They'll make a few phone calls and the world's going to come saying, hey, if you'd like to have a platform for free thinkers and where you're not going to be censored, give us a call or, you know, do this. And it would take off. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.